guys, it's Darlene and welcome to my channel. All right, so today's video is going to be about trying out Factor 75, specifically keto version. So without further ado, let's jump in. All right, first and foremost, if you're already subscribed to my channel, I wanna say thank you so very much. If you are not yet subscribed, hit that subscribe button, that notification bell. That way you won't miss out on any videos. All right, for those of you that know, I have actually, I think it was last year, uh, perhaps the year before, did a bunch of videos on different uh, meal delivery kits, but these ones were ones that you cooked yourself. So they send you the ingredients. So they were like Hello Fresh, uh, Sun Basket, and there were a couple others that I did. So I tried them out for a week each, and then I let you know about each of the subscriptions. So I have never done a subscription service where the meals have been pre-cooked. So um, I'm usually not a person that likes that. Um, but uh, I said, you know what? I've seen this all over Instagram, all over TikTok. It says the food is phenomenal. Let's give it a try, why not? So I did, I went through, I got four days worth. And uh, let me go ahead and uh, jump in and I'm gonna show you the four days of food and then we'll talk about it at the end and what my thoughts are. So let's go. Let me just start out by saying Factor 75 isn't specific to keto. They do have keto. They have vegan, low calorie, I think, and then, you know, just regular, I think. Something like that. But but I like that they gear it, and it is very specific um, that it will literally say keto, but I still look up the carbs because what may be low carb to them is my, maybe not necessarily low carb to me. This is one meal, right? This is one meal of everything you're eating in the day. So I, what I have found is this is going to be the meal that has the most carbs. It's just the way it's going to work out. So let's go through them. And uh, so this one is garlic pork tenderloin. Um, this one's uh, originally um, it had 17 grams of carbs, which, you know, we would never do. I would never do. Um, but six of them are dietary fibers. So you get to delete the six. So it becomes 11, which is pretty good. So this has uh, garlic pork tenderloin with Asiago cauliflower mashed potatoes and pesto green beans. That sounds delicious. I'm really hungry right now. Middle Eastern spiced beef. Uh, this one has 17 grams of carbs minus 7 grams of um, dietary fiber. So this one is 10. This has cauliflower couscous and roasted red pepper yogurt. You sound really good. I'm so hungry. Um, Dijon chicken with a creamed zucchini and roasted portobellos. This was 13 grams. Uh, dietary fiber, 4. So this is, I think this was the lowest at 9. And then the last one is cr uh, creamy Parmesan chicken with roasted broccoli and tomatoes. Uh, this was 13 grams minus dietary fiber of three, which is eight net carbs of 10. So you can microwave them or you could put them in the oven. I have this little puppy right here, which is a air fryer and a little oven. So I'm gonna use that. And I think for today, I am so, hungry. Which one sounded the best? They all sounded really good. I'm going to go with the Middle Eastern spiced beef just because it's different. So it says, let's see what it says. You can microwave it or oven. I'm going to, um, it says to preheat the oven for 375 degrees, remove the meal from the sleeve. I have the same thing. So this is what it looks like. Okay. So I'm doubting that I microwave this thing. Uh, let's see. The Sorry, let's do, let's, let's get down here. We're gonna remove this. This looks so good. Oh, it smells really good, y'all. There's a lot of spice in here, which smells really, really divine. And then we're gonna remove the little cup of, I think this was a uh, yogurt, like a red pepper yogurt. Oh my gosh, okay. Off the bat, looks good, smells divine. Like really, really, good. <laughs> really good. 
Um, so I'm gonna heat it up. It says to heat for five minutes and then check the temperature and then every two minutes go from there. Okay, you guys, oh, this smells so good. It took about six to seven minutes. So six to seven minutes and it smells divine. Now look, I hate eating out of these things. I get, I get that they're very helpful and everything, but I'm gonna put it in a bowl because I think that when it looks good, you know what I mean? It, it just tastes better. So I'm gonna, this is a lot too, so this is good. It's good. Okay, so I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna try it first. Oh, okay, here's the yogurt. So I'm gonna pour it. There's not a lot, there's about this much, by the way. So I'm just gonna pour it over part of it so I can get each, each piece, basically. So let me try this first. Mm-hmm, it was good. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is try the meat here. I forgot what this was. <laughs> Spiced beef, okay. It was good. Lots of flavor. Now I'm gonna try it with the yogurt. Mm-hmm, okay, really good. I got rice, cauliflower, which I have all the time. I have it in my freezer all the time. There's no seasoning on that. Okay. So, we need salt and pepper, you guys. A little bit of pepper. Not on the meat, but on the cauliflower. And cauliflower needs seasoning. Um, 100%. So, let's see if that helped. Mm-hmm. Yes. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna mix the two together. Together. Now, the other thing I'm gonna do, because I like, this This to me reminds me of like a taco or something that you want and you, you know you want that, right? So what I did was I took a low carb tortilla. This has four carbs. This is a big one. Um, so I made little, well little, they're giant chips. So let's try it. Because this one had, how many did this have? said 10, so this is 14 carbs. Mmm. With the tortilla. Mm-hmm. Much better. Definitely. Very good. I would have one more thing. Sour cream. Okay. Let me refresh my memory. I think it's one for two. One carb for two tablespoons. I'm only gonna use one tablespoon, so that makes it half a carb. So, that's the nice thing about this, I can tell, is that I can zhuzh it up with things like seasoning, if I need to. Salt and pepper, definitely needed to with that. Um, so I'm just gonna do one little tablespoon, and then mix that up. And you're just gonna give it a little bit more moisture. Yeah. Oh, it's really good. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, definitely really good. So, portion size, excellent. Flavor, the meat, excellent. The cauliflower, no flavor. Uh, the yogurt sauce, very good. Could use a, more, a little more of it. Um, so yeah, I would say this is a winner. Out of one, one out of 10, it's my first meal, so it's kind of hard. I'll give it an eight. Mm. Mm -hmm. This is good. I'm gonna go eat now. See you tomorrow for day two. Hey guys, all right, so uh, welcome to my kitchen. Day two of Factor 75. So I decided that I was going with the creamy Parmesan chicken with roasted broccoli and tomatoes. This has a net carbs of 10. So 13 with three dietary fiber. So let's see. Oh, that looks like a lot. All right, so let me, uh, again, I'm gonna use the, wait, before I start this video, I should really <laughs> always preheat this. So let me do this. 
By the way, that little thing is, I love it. Air fryer, bakes, broils, you name it, toasts, it's awesome. Anyways, preheated 375, remove the meats and clear. So we're gonna take this off. We're gonna take the plastic off. So you could see, let me see. Okay, smells like chicken. <laughs> it's good, right? Smells good. So you can see that the broccoli has the butter over here. And then it looks like, what do we have here? Um, this looks like a cauliflower puree. I didn't see that that was on here, but, oh, it might be the Parmesan sauce. That might be. And we have the chicken breast. All right, so uh, this one, uh, let's see, what do we say here? Uh, five minutes and then every two minutes. So the same heating. So let me go ahead and do that and I will. Okay. It smells divine. Okay, so that's always a good part. Thanks, but let me show you. Okay, what it looks like. That looks really good, right? That's a big piece of chicken. I don't know what the ounces are on here. Um, and then it was sauce, so let me, here. Okay, before I put it in the bowl, bring you down here. Okay. I'm gonna try the broccoli. Let's see if it's seasoned. Mm. Okay. Could use a little more salt, but that's all right. I'm gonna try the sauce. Divine. Holy cow. Wow. Okay. And let's try the chicken. Mmm. Okay. Mm hmm. Okay, broccoli. Better, it still needs a little salt. Now this is the Parmesan sauce. Mmm, that's really good, you guys. And now let's try the chicken. Really moist, you can tell. Mmm. It was really good. Now I'm gonna transfer it to a bowl. <gasps> Portion size, I think is excellent. I've already taken two bites out of that. Um, the flavor, delicious. Seasoning, uh, again, I think we're a little light on the seasoning on the broccoli. Um, I'll add a little bit of salt and pepper to it. Chicken, moist, delicious. I think um, I said portion size is great. Um, so one out of 10, I would probably give this one a nine. I like this one even more than yesterday's. I'm gonna go enjoy my meal. Hey guys, all right, so we are on day three of factor 75. So preheated my little oven to 375. So today we are doing the garlic pork tenderloin with Asiago cauliflower mash and pesto green beans. This one has 11 carbs, so I think this one might be the one with the most. They're all roughly the same, between nine and 11, pretty sure. So let me show you what it looks like. There we go. So we got the pork tenderloin and the pesto green beans. Smells like pesto grain beans, that's for sure. So I'm gonna go ahead and put it in. It usually takes, I have found that it takes about seven minutes. So I'm just gonna pop it in and I'll be back and let you know what I think. Okay, you guys, it's done. Let me show you. Smells very good. Okay, so let me just try the green beans, pesto green beans. It has a little red pepper and it has a little, yeah, red pepper. Little red pepper, I thought it was cherry tomato bits. A little red pepper with pesto, so let me try that first. Mm -hmm. That's good. Let me try the sauce first. This is the, oh, cauliflower mash. Okay, so let me try the cauliflower mash, separate. You can taste the Asiago cheese. Really good. Okay, now the pork. Let's give it a try. There are pork medallions. This is... Okay, here we go. 
Mm. Okay, not as much flavor, but I think if I mix it all together, like with the sauce, so now I'm gonna try it, a bite with this with the cauliflower mash and the sauce. Mm-hmm. We have to mix it. Okay. But portion size, as always, I think it's a decent amount. I already have my bowl here <laughs> um, to put it in. Decent amount. Green beans, I don't know what their deal is. They don't fit enough salt or, or any at all. So I will add, and even though there's pesto, um, and maybe it would be fine for some, some, you know, some people, I happen to like seasoning. So yeah, it needs a little bit of salt. It just does, it'll bring out the flavor. Uh, cauliflower mash, very impressed. You can really taste that Asiago. That's really good. The pork tenderloin is moist. Um, it just by itself does not have any flavor. Very little. So you definitely want to mix it with everything. Uh, with the Asiago and the cauliflower mash potato. So one out of ten. Mm, probably s seven or eight. I am gonna give it an eight purely for that cauliflower puree with the Asiago. I could eat a whole bowl of that. That was really good. All right guys, well I will see you tomorrow for the last one and then we'll do a roundup. See you guys. All right you guys, so we are on the last day. Day four of Factor 75. Today's meal is Dijon chicken with creamed zucchini and roasted portobello. I think that's what it says. I don't have my glasses up here today. Um, and the carbs on this one are nine. So it's a really good one. So let me show you. And I preheated the... It only took four days for me to get it right. Okay, so let's see what we got here. Ooh, this is interesting. It smells good though. Every time I open them, they do smell good. All right, let me show you what it looks like before it's cooked. So, uh, yeah, this, I mean, it smells good. Uh, so that's a positive. I'm uncertain about this, but in the, in the little oven, I haven't been microwaving them. I've been putting them in the little toaster oven there. And uh, so uh, usually five to seven minutes and I'll be back. All right, you guys, here we go. This is the Dijon chicken with creamed zucchini and literally roasted, oh, portobellas, and roasted portobellas. So here we go, this is what it looks like. So as always, I'm gonna try each thing first. I'm gonna try the side. The sides seem to be the ones that they don't really do a lot of seasoning, but this looks like it's a lot of seasoning. This one took six minutes. It's really good, but again, salt. It's missing salt. Something so simple. All right, portobello mushroom. Count for one with the mushroom. Okay. Chicken. The chicken is super tender, and I know that just by cutting through it. So here's the chicken here. Mm. Well, that has to have rosemary. I don't feel like I taste rosemary in this. Really, really, really good. Let's just, let me just make sure. I'm starving. It's like 2.30. The last time I ate, that was really good, you guys. No joke, really good. The last time I ate, I started doing my fasting. So I've been fasting for 21 hours. Oh, I'm sorry, my let me... grace was working. All right, so let's talk about this one. Okay, and then I'll kind of go through 
my thoughts on the whole Factor 75. Uh, this is really good. Again, the only thing that I would complain about, portion size is excellent. Um, flavor on the chicken, the mushrooms, and that sauce is delicious. Um, the zucchini, I love that it's in a cream, anything with a cream base, and I'm a happy girl. But it needs a little salt. So out of a one to 10, well, this is a really good one. Um, let's say it's like a nine. Mm-hmm. I'd order it again. Okay, so what are my final thoughts? Let's go through them. I saved all the, well, actually what I'm gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna eat <laughs> so it doesn't get cold. So I'm so hungry. So I'm gonna eat and then I'll come back and we'll talk about my thoughts on this, okay? Okay, so for those of you that don't know what Factor 75 is, this is how they will come. Uh, Factor 75 is just not keto. They have, ve I'm pretty sure they have vegan, uh, keto, low calorie um, options as well. And then not just meals, but you can get like smoothies and desserts and all sorts of different things. Uh, for this time around, I just wanted to try the meals and see if I would even like those. And as you can see, I did. I will say I was very, very, very pleasantly surprised. Um, we are going away next week, so I didn't order. I skipped a week. And then I'm going to do another four because I, I really loved it. Um, so let's talk about the... Uh, the subscription as a whole. Now, obviously, it's like every other subscription. When you first sign up, you get so much off of, uh, you know, the more meals you order, the less they are, and then, you know, you get so much off of, you know, your first four subscriptions and stuff like that. But on average, they average between 11 and $13 a meal, which I think is completely reasonable with the amount of food that there was. This was, on, on in each day, each day that I had this, and I did four consecutive days, uh, this was my big meal. And I always have it at lunch. So I break my fast with the Factor 75, and then if I need something else, you know, celery and cream cheese, or, you know, a low carb uh, wrap sandwich, then I'll do it. Um, the carbs were between nine and 10. So two had nine, two had 10. Uh, because remember, we're deducting dietary fiber. Uh, so the carbs were great. Just keep in mind, if you are just starting keto, this will be your big meal. And uh, so you just have to watch everything else that you eat. It's not to say that between nine and 10 for a meal that's already prepared for you, awesome. Let's talk, so the next thing is portion size. Absolutely, I think the portion size is excellent. Next time around, I'll do another follow-up to this because maybe I'll try some of their shakes. I am really not a shake person at all. I don't even like regular milkshakes. So I don't know, but maybe I'll try some of their dessert. I have to see what the carbs are. So maybe I'll add on a few extra things and then I'll come and do another one. Um, because one of the things that I wanted to do and I, I forgot was to measure like the chicken breast, how much, like what is the ounces? Because maybe it says, um, and it very well could. Um, I did not read it, so it very well could. Um, so uh, they were all excellent. And let me tell you something, the calories, which I actually do watch calories as well. Um, the calories on these, um, let me see, just let me zip through this. Oh, this one I might have, nope, 620, 640. All were under, are you ready for this guys? All under 700 around 660 to 670. That's phenomenal. I mean, that is phenomenal. So um, the calories are great on here. Um, and so um, in my opinion, the macros work for me. Okay, just talking about me. Uh, so portion size, uh, it seems excellent. I will get more in depth with that when we, when I do the second part. Flavor, I will say that the main course uh, were always flavorful. They always had some type of sauce, uh, some type of seasoning, and they were always flavorful. The side, so whether it be broccoli, green beans, cauliflower, rice, for some reason they had an aversion to salt. <laughs> um, that's okay. I would rather have less sodium 
and I put it in if I need to, then too much and you know, you can't take it out. So I'm okay with that, but I just want for you to keep that in mind that for some reason the sides, even though maybe it's pesto green beans, it's like you'd think, I mean pesto is full of flavor, but what it is missing is salt and, and salt has a lot of flavor in this, it just does. So um, my final thoughts on factor 75, phenomenal. Like I am so excited. I really, really like these. Uh, they, they came, you know, when they said they were gonna be here, they were boxed uh, nicely, uh, you know, with the ice and all of that, the ice bags or whatever, the dry ice, the dry ice. And um, so, yeah, and I, I tried three different meats. Um, I tried chicken twice, ground beef, and then uh, pork, and loved it all. I mean, I think you can tell that. So I'm a huge fan. If this has been something that you've been wanting to try and you're like, I don't know, is it gonna taste good? You know, um, you know I'm gonna tell you yes. <laughs> yes, it's gonna taste really good. Now, one of the things I did do, you can microwave them or you could put them in the oven. I have a toaster oven. That's also an air fryer right there. I'll list in the description box in case you're looking for like a multitasker. Um, and so I just would put it in there. Took a, between six and seven minutes for each meal. Um, and uh, it's like, bam, there's your meal. Let's go and delicious. All right, guys, well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up. And I'm gonna ask you if there is another company out there that you want me to try that's pre-done meals, let me know and I just may try it. So anyways, have a great day and I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye guys.